Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we're going to take a look at a special record process invented by RCA in the past century. Are you interested? Let's take a look. As you know, every once in a while, I like to take a peek in the past technology, analog technology mainly, regarding how specific tapes, records, recording processes were made. For example, I did one very interesting, and I hope you already seen it if you haven't, take a look dedicated to the Mercury living presence and all the, the story behind it, the, the special recording and microphones employed. It's a very interesting and cool story. Here, take a look at this link. So today we're gonna take a look at Dynagroove. What is Dynagroove? Maybe you came across a few records that said Dynagroove under RCA, which is, as we all know, the one of the top labels in the past century uh, that made all kinds of records, which had a heavy impact on our music culture, the Radio Corporation of America. And they invented actually a specific man, the chief engineer of RCA, Henry Olson, created this Dynagroove process. A lot of people um, say, claim it's a recording process. That's not correct. Actually, it's a whole chain of processes that deliver a specific type of record. Uh, what is, in a nutshell, Dynagroove. Dynagroove is mainly a emphasis in the lower frequencies in the soft passages of music in order to have a presence of those lower frequencies even if you're listening to your music at a lower volume, a normal volume in your homes. Plus there's a kind of a de-emphasis for the higher frequencies which were kind of difficult to reproduce in a normal standard a hi-fi setup, well not hi-fi setup, let's just say music setup, back in the 60s because this was invented in 1963 and it went on all the way around 1970 more or less. And then it just quietly uh, just blended away with other recording processes and other techniques, better, better techniques. So why was this introduced? Because unfortunately uh, people were playing their um, re records on not in the optimal way. They were introducing a lot of noise of distortion. Hence, what was the idea with this emphasis and, and, and the emphasis at the same time to optimize certain parts of the music since, I, I, again, as I said, the, the quality wasn't that good, plus people were listening at lower volumes, so you were missing a lot of info. If you don't turn up the volume, uh, even the, the ear itself does not recognize t certain uh, frequencies because they're, they're usually reproduced at a higher volume. So that's what we're trying, that's what the, the tricks that Olson was trying to introduce. Plus he introduced a harmonic distortion, yes, in the higher frequencies, in order to neutralize the ones produced by the standard cartridges that people had at home which had mainly, usually, the ball shape, the conical type of stylus, which unfortunately wasn't that good and introduced noise. Therefore, the two neutralized themselves and created a better quality of the higher frequencies. Unfortunately, though, what is the issue? What is the problem here? That shortly after, a lot of people instead had good quality cartridges, elliptical type of cartridges, uh, of stylus, of styli, and at that point, you're gonna hear that harmonic distortion in, introduced in, uh, in the music, in the recording process, in the cutting process. So, unfortunately, Dynagroove did have some issues. Nevertheless, nevertheless, if you listen to a good number of records, I'm gonna show you just a few I, I, I grabbed out of my collection here, uh, a few of them are decent. Actually, a few are good, even though they do have these problems. And most of this type of uh, technology was 
um, refer to classical music, but not only actually. We have a lot of uh, jazz, folk, this is a fantastic album, but also uh, pop and rock. Yes, like for example, Jefferson Airplane, Elvis uh, re recorded, uh, Sam Cooke, a lot of people recorded with RCA and had that technology employed in their in the producing of the records. So here we you can see easily the little logo when you're going through your old records, if you're looking, if you're hunting and crate digging and things like that. And even famous fantastic albums like this one is a Dyna Groove. I just want to pause a little second and tell you in detail the amount of technology, I have to read it because it's so much stuff and it's cool, I think, that they did. It, it's not just the emphasis, the emphasis uh, and things like that. I wanna tell you all the things, and that's why a few of these records do sound good, that Harry Olsen did introduce in making these mm, records for RCA. So, 15 points actually. New studios with control, attack and decay characteristics. Special selection of microphones. Also, in fact, was an expert of mic design. Microphone placement based on control subjective testing. New low distortion microphone preamplifiers. A new type of mastering console with special peak indicators. In fact, they also talked, they said when they published this new type of technology that analog computers were employed in the process, which is correct, but obviously there's something very distant from our concept of computers. They're just machines and consoles that did some corrections and calculations. So there is a processing of the signal, as you, can, uh, as you understood. A new type of mastering console with special peak indicators to guard against overloading the master tape. New magnetic tape recorders with higher overload points. Recording at 30 inch per second, wow, instead of the conventional 15 inch per second. Already that's, I mean, it's gonna send the, the quality through the roof. Development of a new magnetic tape formulation by RCA with higher retentivity, lower noise level, higher coercivity, and a heavier base material. Sounds fantastic. A dynamic spectral equalizer, DSE, which a lot of people don't like, intended to compensate for defiances and reproduction in a typical residential setting. That's the problem here. Sophisticated recording overload indicator to guard against exceeding the limits allowable for cutting the master disc, which is good. Although, obviously, if you have all these indicators, you're always gonna keep your clutch a little down you're not gonna go full blast, you're not gonna put all those frequencies. Dynamic Styli cor Correlator, DSC, which canceled tracing distortion due to a 0.7 millimeter playing stylus. It was stronger at higher frequencies and in the inner grooves. Optimization of vertical tracking angle in the disc cutter. New high power disc cutting amplifiers to reduce distortion. Reduction of noise in the master lacquer disc by maintaining constant temperature of the cut cutting stylus. These are a few of these have been also implemented by other labels in, in, in the next decades, actually. Improvements in the planting process used to produce final stampers from the master disc, resulting in a higher signal to noise ratio. Development of a new electrically, electrically conducting plastic for the record disc to dissipate static electricity, reducing disc pickup and the associated surface noise. Fabulous. I think that a lot of this technology, a little bit was already there. They optimize it, they employ it as a standard process. And I'm sure they also did it in the future technology in record producing, not only in RCA, but obviously in other labels. We I'm, Actually, that is obvious. But it, a lot of these were developed now and brought together at this point, and that's why I think Dyna Groove is so interesting and important, actually. Okay, guys, this was a short video. I hope you enjoyed the story of Dyna Groove, the effort of Olsen. I think it's, it's fascinating. In any case, remember that music was born analog. Bye, guys. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.